Hey guys, I'm doing a uh, shop update and uh, review of all the stuff that's in my shop and tools and stuff like that. So, start that off. It's a 12 by 20 shed, uh, double front doors, one side door, and two windows on the sides. Comes with top loft. Top workbench, it's more like a loft as well, and then a bottom workbench. Things that I have in it at the moment. Lawnmower, obviously. My TTR 125, which is for sale. Um, my YZ85 that just recently got stolen. They broke the front brake lever. Uh, snapped the back uh, fender here. Completely snapped that off and they twisted the subframe. I got a subframe for it and I got a front brake lever for it. All I need is a uh, rear fender for it and I'm either going to keep it or I'm going to sell it or I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You can see it. Whenever the cops got them, it's still in processing. Still has all that black soot on it. So from like, I'm fingerprinting it. Finger f they printed. Oh, it pisses me off so bad. Another fucker was in two chases. The cops couldn't catch him the first time. But anyways. TTR-225. Um, needs carburetor work. And it's going to need a battery. Actually, no. It doesn't need carburetor work. It needs battery. That's going to be for sale. Brand new handlebars on it. All kinds of stuff like that. The uh, TTR's got like $500 in upgrades. So. 05 Blaster 200. Uh, completely stock except for back tires and hand guards. Uh, everything else on it stock, and I just put on a new pair of Nerf bars for it. Nothing special, just some motorsport ones. Uh, Honda pressure washer. Uh, one of them big ass tables. Our canopy tent and our uh, dirt bike ramp for the. Uh, truck. We don't really use that much. I mean, for certain things. But, then we got the uh, wooden planks just to get the lawnmower into here. Dirt bikes and the, and the four-wheelers are alright to get in here. Uh, this is included in the uh, shop as well. It's a transport Hallmark trailer. DLX with chrome rims. Um, it's like a four, no, it's like a six by eight or twelve or something. I don't know. But, we, that's what we take our race bikes in, and our, our two race bikes are in there, YZ125 and YZ250. I'm going to be putting reviews up on those soon, parts and whatnot I put on it. Uh, here's the rear plastics to my 06 blaster and the gas tank, and in there like this fucking mud flat thing. New gas can for the blasters. My BMX bike's hanging up. Here's the 06 at the moment. I already did a video on that one, so you guys should check out my channel and check that out. Um, blaster plastics, and that red stuff is loom wire. I'm in the process of putting that on. Number plate. Uh, top shelf, we basically just got tools, and all in boxes are parts. The radio there. We don't have electric in here yet, so sorry about the lighting. It might be really dark. Um, my last video that I did a update on the blaster, it was extremely dark. I got some tools and stuff up there. Uh, grips. Got that headlight kit for like 20 bucks. We're going to be running electric in here soon enough, so you're going to be seeing me doing videos at like 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, stuff like that. Uh, scrap metal bin for aluminum, scrap metal bin for just some steel. Uh, motorcycle stands. Those are my carpentry tools. I'm building a toolbox. I'm going to do a video on that one, too. That's my Briggs motor that I'm going to be putting on uh, my old mower whenever that one goes. Um, whenever the motor goes on that, I'm going to put that motor, uh, that motor on it and make it uh, just a puller so I can pull a trailer around on it. Okay, now we'll do the tool review. Oh, uh, first, here's my IT125 motor, my spare YZ120, or Spare YZ85 motor and my dad's spare uh, 250F motor. We're going to be rebuilding in here old blaster parts and new blaster parts that I'm going to be installing soon to finish my blaster. All the hardware from blaster and stuff that I took off. 
oils, um, ashtray, I don't know, uh, just some more IT parts in my cart here. Okay, now we'll do what's in my toolbox. So, just got a Craftsman uh, ABS plastic toolbox with uh, three drawers, and they are locking drawers, so whenever you have the top down, it will, uh, these drawers will stay locked as soon as you pull it up. These drawers come out like this. Holy shit, it is really dark. I'm going to get my flashlight out real quick, and I'm going to drop my phone doing it. That's great. Okay, so, here's what the toolbox looks like. It opened up here, impact drivers, small ratcheting set, these are staples for a staple gun, extra fuel lines, um, thread locker, some stick grease, spare razor blades, miniature ball peen hammer, I don't know where some, somebody stole my regular ball peen hammer, right up, right there, I don't know where it is, I'm not sure, but uh, then we got my scalpel set, a couple of fuel filters, there's that brake lever for the uh, YZ85 that I'm going to put on, emery cloth, wire brush, scissors, basic stuff, always keep zip ties and stuff in here because this is our traveling box, so whenever we do go to like the races and stuff, we just pull it off the shelf here and we go race, in case something breaks, up here, husky, little like the miniature ones, those are good for carburetor screwdrivers, uh, got flatheads, Phillips heads, got a bunch of little pick tools, some of them have lights on them, the one doesn't, spoke wrench, a couple of little files in here, uh, got a Mac 3H drive, ratchet, guaranteed for life, snap on, quarter inch drive, ratchet, shorty, and that's, uh, guaranteed for life, then I think that's a, yeah, snap on, 3 8 eight inch breaker bar, and then a half inch Chinese look piece of crap little ratchet half inch so it does the job for what I needed to do but that's about it got a bit driver or a socket driver I mean here I just have a assortment of wrenches I mean it's not really organized but it doesn't really take that long to find a wrench I would just like to get rid of all these, or just put these in a junk drawer or something. Or sell them on eBay, or give them back to my dad, because a lot of those are his. Um, and then, just go and get a regular metric set, and a, met and a uh, standard set, and just sort them out in two drawers. And then, find a better place for other stuff. Like if I'll carry just a little toolbox with me then. Okay, in here, pliers, I got... Uh, the clip separators, wire cutters, and strippers. Potty knife for some reason. I'm not sure. Needle nose, dykes. Uh, here I just got a pair of Craftsman. Uh, what are they called? Channel locks. A regular pair of channel locks. Um, that's pretty much it for the toolbox. Over here we just got a funnel and bolts and miscellaneous items. Up here is just a screwdriver set. Uh, it's just if I need uh, need the screwdriver set and just run into the house real quick for them. Pipe wrench. Uh, these are my pegboards, by the way. I just made these. I don't know why. Um, channel locks, dead blow hammer, socket set. That's for like through sockets and stuff like that. That's just if I need to go out in like, the middle of the yard fix something. Uh, Pittsburgh file set. It's not the best, but it does a job. I normally have a ball peen hammer up there. Someone took it. Uh, my T handle set with detachable sockets. It goes from 8 millimeter to 17 millimeter, and it has a Phillips bit as well. I'm getting a quarter inch one of those as well. Uh, pair of dykes, pair of pliers, 10 inch adjustable, 8 inch adjustable, 6 inch adjustable, razor knife. Uh, Chinese brand 3 8 drive socket with an extension, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Uh, this file I actually have here for just one purpose only. I'm going to put another screw above it then in a couple minutes. But 
Uh, I use that for sharpening chisels and uh, screwdrivers, like I sharpen my uh, flat heads because sometimes I get burrs and stuff on them. But what I'll do is I'll put one more screw above it here and one screw in front of it. That way it doesn't move anywhere and I can just sharpen my chisels. Then I just take a file card or a wire brush and clean it out. So it does a job. And then up here I just got a... Uh, shit. Hacksaw. Can't think today. Sorry guys. Um, and there's just the uh, chemical cabinet. I keep paints and oils and like spray and shit in there. Fuel filters, tape, fuel line, stuff like that. But the blaster is in the process of being rebuilt. Well, not rebuilt, but installing new parts. And we just got an assortment of bullshit up there. That box has got all my YZ125 parts in it. Uh, that box has uh, parts for my YZ125 that I never even installed yet. And then I got boots and stuff over there. Um, I will be doing each review on each vehicle. Again, the 225 and the 125 are for sale. And the YZ85 will eventually be for sale. Uh, just... If you're wondering what the prices are for them, the 125 is at two grand flat. No, you don't try and juice down because it ain't gonna happen. Um, whenever the 85 is for sale, it's gonna be around three grand because I got a lot of money in that one. And the 225 is at 1700. So the 225 is an 03. The 125 is an 07, but was never bought until 2010. And the 85 is an 07. And I'm the second owner. So, uh, thanks guys. I'm going to be uh, doing reviews on the vehicles again. I'll do a review on my car out there. It's an 88 Monty. But, uh, that's my shop. And it's going to be progressed soon. So, thanks guys.